Okay, so for our introduction to flash animation, we're going to create a butterfly. Now, I found the instructions for this butterfly in the Sacramento State University website, and they had step-by-step, -step, so I thought I would just take this into a YouTube video to show you guys. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a move a you were going to see we're going to use a symbol the reason we're going to use a symbol once you create a symbol you can reuse that symbol and when you do it it uh, to some extent uh, reduces the size of the the file if you just made the same symbol over and over again so we're going to go up here to insert and click on new symbol and we're going to call this one butterfly and we are going to make a movie out of it okay and you notice when we did that, we're basically working in here. This is a butterfly, and it's going to show up over here so we can use it over and over again if that's what we want to do. Okay. So we leave the stage and go into here. If we want to go back into the stage, there, that's where it's going to be. But if I just click back on the butterfly over here, there we go. So the first thing we're going to want to do is get the oval tool. And select a color, I'm going to use orange here, and we are going to make the body of our butterfly. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is get the line tool, and we'll give some antenna. off a little bit so I'm going to select it using the arrow key move it over a little bit okay so we have our body All right, next thing I want to do is let's go ahead and rename layer one up here double click it and let's go ahead and call it the body Now, because I've got the body done, I don't want anything to happen to it, I am going to lock it. And you notice over here it says you can't, a little pencil across through it, you cannot edit it anymore unless we unlock it. So I'm going to go ahead and lock it. And we're going to now create a new layer. And this layer we're going to title Left Wing. Now we're going to go ahead and select a color for our wing. I'm just going to select a dark blue. And instead of the oval, I'm going to use a rectangle tool. And so I'll start here and I'll make a rectangle about like that. And I'm going to select the selection tool. I'm going to Look out of that, and if I if I put it close to the corner, you'll see there's a little right angle icon that pops up just to the right of the arrow. And if I do that, I can kind of resize that little section. I'm going to move it down right here, and I will do the same for the bottom part. Move that down as well. And then if I go to the middle, you will see a little arc show up. And I'm going to go and give a little curve. And I'll do the, the same over to this side. So we get that part. Alright, next I will we'll change the color again. Uh, maybe to a dark purple. And this time use the oval tool. Just kind of over like that. And we'll go to the selection tool. And wait till the arc shows up, then I can just kind of pull this out a little bit. And we've got our left wing. What we're going to do is we're going to take this left wing, instead of making a right wing, we're going to convert this into a symbol that we can use again. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click in here and that, I'm going to click uh, 
frame one of the left wing, and that selects the left wing, not the body. And I'm going to right click, and I'm going to say convert to symbol. And instead of a movie clip, we're just going to go with a graphic here, and we'll call this butterfly. Okay, we can see over here in our library that the butterfly butterfly wing showed up. And ooh, you know what? I'm going to delete that butterfly wing. I'm going to right click and delete it. Yeah, uh, before I do that, I'm going to change the pivot point, actually. I'm going to select the free transform tool, and I'm just going to move this pivot point over to the body. So, so when we animate the wing, that's where the wing's going to be moving at, right next to the body. And I guess the good news, when I do, when I do that, uh, it does it also to the graphic as well. Right. Next, we're going to create a, another layer. And this time, we're going to call it, as you can imagine, and all I really have to do is select the butterfly wing over here and I'll just pull it into the workspace and there it is. Right. Now we need to flip this around so I'm going to make sure that again this free transform tool is still selected. There's a couple ways to do this but I'm just going to flip it around and match it up. So we've got our left wing, our right wing. Next what I'm going to do is we want, I'm going to have this go over to frame six. To unlock the body. Okay, and insert a frame. And what that's going to do is it's going to be for all the way out to frame 60. Okay, and for here, what we're going to do is, I'm going to make a copy of this wing. I'm going to right click on frame one of the left wing and go copy frame. And I'm going to put a copy of that on frame 20. So I'm clicking frame, frame 20 and paste the frame. I'm going to do it on, sorry, that was 10, wasn't it? I'm sorry. And 20. Skipping 30, going to 40. And as well as 60. We'll go back to 10 here, and what we're going to do with on 10 is we are going to, using the free transform tool, is I'm going to grab a corner of it, and I'm going to shrink it, go a little higher. Kind of can't see it anymore, so I'm going to just reduce the size to 90% so we can see the whole thing. Okay, so we're going to make it smaller, something like that. So we're going to have the wing go from that to that. Okay, and we'll, instead of having to create uh, the wing getting smaller and smaller and smaller, Flash will do it for us. We're just going to go somewhere in between 5 and 10. I'll go to 5. I'll right click on it and go create motion twin. And then what we can see here, if we pull it, we can see it slowly go down. And since I put it on 20 back at its full, I'll go here and I'll create a motion tween again. And we end up with is that. Now instead of having to make it small again, I'm just going to copy what's in 10. Copy frame and paste that on frame 30. And again on frame 50. Put in the motion tween. Okay. And what we get right now is a 
butterfly flapping its wings. So all we have to do now is go ahead and do the same thing for the right wing. So I'm going to click in here, insert a frame, extend that frame out to frame 60. There. And go to 10. The right wing, and again, you make sure that I have my free transform tool selected. I'm going to make it the same size. I copy this. Nice frame to ten to twenty forty and of course to sixty. Now that the wing is there, I'll go to frame ten. Using the free transform tool, I will make it smaller. That's about right. And I'll copy this. Right click, copy frame. Place frame at 30. Place the frame at 50. And then we have to go in and put the motion between, in between big and going small, so right click, create motion tween, right click, create motion tween, okay, and what we end up with Enter it should give me let's go back to our put our butterfly in here and that's what it's gonna look like. quite fit on here and it doesn't look like it does I can always shrink the butterfly a little bit there we go there we go and there's your animated butterfly